Hi, my name is Kara Jacobs Lipka. I'm a medical officer and part of the CDC COVID-19 response in long-term care facilities. Today, we're gonna to talk about closely monitoring residents for COVID-19 and the importance of recognizing new or worsening infections quickly and taking action. This is part of the key COVID-19 prevention messages for frontline long-term care staff. You know your residents best. Noticing even small changes in their appearance or their behavior that may indicate a new COVID-19 infection or an infection that is quickly getting worse, alerting your charge nurse, medical director or supervisor could prevent many people from getting sick or a resident from dying. The main way that the virus causing COVID-19 spreads is person to person. What this means is that the virus can spread between people who are in close contact with one another. Usually that means less than about six feet apart. Through respiratory droplets, when a person infected with the virus coughs, sneezes, or talks. These droplets can land in the mouth or nose of people who are nearby or may be inhaled into their lungs. An infected person may be able to spread the virus even if they don't have symptoms. It may be possible to get COVID by touching surfaces or objects that the virus is on, such as a resident's bed or bedside table, or things like doorknobs and blood pressure machines, and then touching your mouth, nose, or eyes. Make sure that you clean your hands frequently and clean and disinfect the environment. COVID-19 can be spread easily in long-term care facilities, including nursing homes, assisted living, and other residential care settings, and can spread between residents, healthcare personnel, and others working in the building. The earlier you can identify sick residents, the faster you can prevent COVID-19 from spreading throughout the building. This can keep both you and your residents healthy. As an important reminder, Sick healthcare personnel and other staff, some who may not have symptoms, are the most likely way that COVID-19 has made its way into buildings. It is for this reason that wearing your surgical mask at all times and not working when sick is so important. If COVID-19 is not recognized early, and even one person in a long-term care facility. They can easily spread the virus to other residents or staff in the building. Residents live in a close environment, are older, and may have chronic medical conditions putting them at high risk of getting COVID-19. If not recognized early, healthcare personnel and other staff or visitors in the building could get sick. Each person with COVID-19 can go on to spread the virus to more people within the building, who can then go on to spread the virus to others, both within the building or even in other buildings where they work. But when COVID-19 is recognized early through monitoring residents each day for fever and changes that may indicate a new infection and immediately putting infection prevention practices into place, such as having the residents stay in their room and healthcare personnel using personal protective equipment or PPE. You can help keep COVID-19 from spreading throughout the building and making many people sick. In this picture, you can see that when COVID-19 was found early, only a few people in orange got sick, while most other people in gray were able to stay healthy. Social distancing and wearing cloth face coverings by residents may help prevent spread as well. This is why you should be monitoring your residents every day for signs, symptoms, and changes in their appearance or behavior that may indicate COVID-19. You should take your residents' temperature every day and even more often if you are concerned. A temperature of equal to or more than 100 degrees Fahrenheit or multiple temperatures of 99 degrees Fahrenheit should trigger a warning that this resident may have COVID-19. 
Ask residents to tell you if they aren't feeling well. And monitor them every day and throughout the day for symptoms such as new or different cough, sore throat, shortness of breath, or muscle aches. Older adults may not show typical symptoms, so be on the lookout for symptoms such as new or worsening discomfort or tiredness, new dizziness, chills, headache, or diarrhea. You know your residents the best, so any change from their usual baseline should be a warning that they might have COVID-19, and you should immediately notify your charge nurse or supervisor. Send the resident to their room and use PPE when you are caring for the resident. A separate presentation on PPE is available and has more details on which PPE to use and how to use it to keep yourself safe. You have an important role to identify sick residents early by monitoring them closely in order to help keep residents and staff healthy. Unfortunately, we have seen sick residents during the COVID-19 outbreak develop severe Ill illness very quickly. Sick residents must be monitored very closely in order to make sure they have the support that they need or identify when a higher level of care is needed. You should monitor sick residents at least three times daily by checking their vitals, including oxygen saturation with a pulse ox machine, at each shift. Again, you know your residents the best, so if they look different or worse to you in some way, please report these findings immediately to your charge nurse, a clinician, or supervisor so that the resident can be evaluated. Keeping a close eye on your residents can help identify infections as early as possible to prevent spread of COVID-19 and identify residents with serious illness who may need a higher level of care.